per well, so they were losing up to ten centimeters nearly a week. Yeah, they lost loads. They they lost you know um, incredible results. I'm, so I'm I'm blown away. I yeah. literally am blown away. Even in the areas that you didn't weren't treated. Remember that was that paper. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff. So I mean, it works. Um, I'm going to um, go test this out. Because, I mean, I've never heard of anything that works yeah. that quickly and that effectively. There's got to be – I'm just trying to think, where is the yeah. piper? Because you, you've right. always got to pay the piper, right? All I right. mean, typically it's money. but Well, well I've, I've got some exact figures for people with, with their ages. The younger you are, the more uh, circumference you lose. Now, this is in inches. That's, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a uh, – a 23-year-old, for example, in this trial experienced a reduction in their waist, hips and thighs by 8.8 inches. So that's 20-odd friggin' centimetres across the body. In three weeks. Two weeks. Oh. <laughs> Two weeks. Welcome to the ATP Project. You're with your host, Steve and Jeff. steve -O. Yes, cheating. Let's do it. Uh, cheat. Fat loss hacks. Top five yeah. fat loss hacks. We're not talking about hours on the treadmill. <laughs> We're not talking about uh, doing the hard yards, as they nah. say, Steve. We're not talking Stuff, about man. eating well. No. Nah. <laughs> And look, we recommend all of those things. And but, we do. But we, we better say that. This, we'll is the, this is the thing. I love breakthroughs in science, yep. Steve. And and so long as, um, well, again, there's a few criteria for me that I go, okay, is it safe? Yeah. Right? Good question. Is it secret? Is it safe? Do you remember that in the Lord of the Rings? Anyway, sorry, just watching do, that with the kids actually. at the moment. Yeah. Um, so we've got we've got technology. Yep. That can help you lose fat. Yep. And we've got invasive, non-invasive, yep. high science, proven. Yep. You've got measurements. Papers. Me, Steve. Yep. They're Have all you booked around. in my session? Yeah. You, oh, you, yeah. You, I think I've, you wait till you see number one. Okay. And I reckon you'll book in. So we're going to start at number five? Yeah. The, 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 the least impressive. So good it's still to great. good. It's good still to great. Good. Yeah. So it's good. It still works. But, but, uh, we'll, and we'll rank it on a scale of um, effectiveness, yeah. uh, in, invasiveness, yep. um, Recovery time. Recovery time's good. Cost. Cost. Yeah. Um, and risk. And risk. They're they're the five I've cranked it on. Okay. So so based on that. Yeah. Um, you, you, the top five fat loss hacks is this is great. Again, is cool. we we recommend diet and exercise. You know, just, of, of, of course, people please yep. just and we we got some comments from some people at the end, which is great. So yep. thank you. But yeah. please hear us right now and then. <laughs> Nothing beats good diet. And good exercise. And again, but we know that in today's age, mm -hmm. and Steve, yep. we've heard some horror stories of people doing crazy things in the past, like using bug killer or or furniture polish, <laughs> which worked. Worked. But some of the weight loss was permanent. total and permanent. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, a, a, again, so so please hear this. And it comes down to, I mean, look, people are using things and I don't, I don't, I don't know what's yeah, on here, you don't Steve. Know, yeah. I, you, I do know one. I sort of heard oh, okay. a little bit of a mention on that. You right. Sort of, I saw floating around, but okay. I don't. I, I know. So I think I know one of the four. All right. But the other one is obviously, um, you know, like stomach stapling and stuff like that. Yeah. Now I know that is that one of the five. No, no. Oh. What we're doing is getting rid of fat off your body. Okay, cool. So, so uh, this is a good case in point then. So that's pretty extreme. Yeah. I mean, you're making life changes there and do i like it not really do i understand why people do it maybe a little um but i mean again that's lap band surgery and that's pretty popular so Ooh, yeah. these all of these should be better than lap band surgery they in are in terms of um cost risk yep. invasiveness all that sort of stuff yep. well let's start with number five which is the least impressive but still good okay still works yep and you might be surprised by this one but it's the classic liposuction. Okay. Well, that's you're boring me already, yeah, I'm, Steve. I'm, that that okay. is the most right. boring. Well, let's not them. spend a lot of time no. on liposuction, but just give me the hard facts, man. It costs about seven grand for someone like me because I priced myself. Oh. And it was about seven grand. Yeah, with Dr. Doug, one of his mates. Okay. He said it cost about 7000 Yep. Yep. Um, obviously, permanently gets rid of the fat, ends up in a jar in half an hour. It sucks the fat cell yep. out, right? So, And this is the thing about weight loss is that with this, it, because it takes the fat cell away, yep. like a lot of time when you lose fat, think of your fat like being like this little grape. Yeah. And, and what happens is that when you lose fat, that grape cell empties out, yep. but the cell's still there. Correct. Now, unless there's apoptosis. Apoptosis, yep. which is the Which cell is there. where the cell basically self-destructs and yeah. destroys and goes um it's easier for rebound weight gain 
and, and, so. and that's what a lot of people do is they lose a lot of weight um, because they've got a goal, 12-week challenge or what have you. Mm. But then the fat cell refills if you start to loosen up and you diet again. Yeah, correct. It's not until that cell dies mm. that it becomes more difficult to put that weight back on. How long does that typically take, Steve? To put the weight back on? No, no. For that cell, once it's empty, to actually go and the body go, you know what's It's redundant. Let's get rid of the cell. Oh, the cell dies. Yeah, the it never dies. Really? No, it never dies. I, you don't have to worry about that. No. Because it sucks it out. Yeah. So $7,000, Steve, yeah. how much body fat would you have chiseled abs? Yeah, you would. You, you could if you have what they call liposculpting oh. and laser lipo. Now, laser lipo is like, um, do you ever remember seeing um, Austin Powers yes. when he had the sharks with the lasers on it? Yeah. <laughs> and they'd kill the thing and then eat it? Yeah. That's what laser lipo is like to sharks. Wow. It lasers the fat, melts it. Wow. And then it gets sucked out of a little tube or cannula and it goes into a jar. Is it safer than normal lipo? Uh, it's about as safe as normal lipo. Right. But the problem with, with lipo is that you don't get typically get knocked out under a general. They give you two drugs. Usually it's midazolam and one you might have heard of called fentanyl. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you know, this is what you have to weigh up those risks, that and midazolam. So it disassociates you from the procedure. You, you, you're very – because it's very, very painful yeah. if you don't. So, so, so is that twilight? Is that where you're It's not, called twilight sedation? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're not quite, you know, awake, you're not quite asleep. Correct. And, and you're disassociated from what's going on. You're Sorry. kind of out of it. Yeah, I remember. That's what, how I met Tony. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, she said to me, she goes, can you... Can, He's got his finger on the button here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Well, she said, she says, you know, Jeff, could you, does that smell like, like chloroform to you? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, we were married. Yeah, so, that's what yeah. I mean. Oh, Who can blame her? Couldn't blame. Yeah. So, so look, you're right. It is boring. A lot lipo is boring, costly. Uh, your downtime is weeks, mm -hmm. and you wear a tight band in my case around your waist, right. and you wear a tight band, and you have to leave it on there for three weeks or something like that. And so, so boring, but also long recovery, painful. Right. Um, How painful? Well, very painful, if you, and that's why you need those very p powerful drugs. Right, right. So, you, so how long are you taking painkillers after? About taking three one? to four days. Okay. And this is the doctor I, I know, true Dr. Doug. And right. Dr. Doug used to do lipo too right. in the olden days. Mm. So, so you know. It reminds it, me of the Ren and Stimpy show. Yeah. Do you remember that show? So the older ones, and they're like, he goes, oh, Ren, your pectoral muscles are so huge. And he gets this ice cream scoop. And I'm sure there could be some doctors out there, not the reputable yeah. ones we're talking yeah. about, and I'll scoop it into another area. But that doesn't, because as soon as that happens, it loses blood supply. But I've seen this kind of craziness happen. This yeah. is happening a lot with Brazilian butt implants, where people literally are getting like, you know, like, like, like implants and they're going rank. Like, the, just disgusting. I mean, yeah, anyway, you've got to be careful. Okay, so, so for those who are watching video, this is this is a cannula, the pen in my hand. Mm -hmm. And you, you put your hand on someone's, say, abdomen or wherever you're sucking the butt, and then you you run it back and forth quite vigorously like that. I've seen it done. Oh, and, you have? And, uh, yeah. You know, it's funny because Tony loves seeing, like, operations and, yeah. you know, medical mishaps. and uh, so I just I can't do it. I, I, like, all of a sudden start getting squeamish and jumping around oh, like no. a cat on a hot tin roof. I mean, but you can understand the appeal of it, though, because, I Instant mean, gratification. Instant. It's in a jar beside the bed and half I don't now. like the pain side of it, Steve. No, nope. and no. the recovery side and the cost side. And the drug and, side risks and, infections. Okay. Well, that's the big one for me, probably more than anything else. Why? Mm. And look again, I'm not judging anybody for doing anything, right? Mm. I mean, and this is what the podcast about all about yeah. information. But the thing for me is, I've seen is it Christy Turlington? I'm pretty sure. If you guys want to Google her, yeah. I think she just had a bit of a botched job, which always terrifies me with anything surgery. Yeah, because um, you can end up with lumpy pockets. You and can you end do. up with infections. Yeah, um, it's like anything, you know. Like if you're going to do anything to your body, I mean, I wouldn't take my car to the cheapest mechanic. I, I want the best value. Sure, but I mean, like you see a lot of people. Oh, I'm going to go to XYZ backwater country and yeah. go to the cheapest doctor in this area. It's just like, hmm, you've only got one body. You don't want to make, exactly. you want to make sure they don't stuff it up. So. No, and if you do leave a little bit of fat behind, that fat it, it hypertrophies, it grows. So you've got like a golf ball under your skin. Very common side effect. Really? And they have to go How and touch it How common? Do you know, Steve? Well, yeah, the, the guy I spoke to, he was out of surgery for the day and he said, yeah, I did lipo all day. And three of the procedures he did was fixing up other mistakes. Wow. Which were like, because you don't remember, if you've got this big 
pile of fat in your stomach, which is very symmetrical. It's just fat. Sure. And, you, and you suck it out and you're left a little bit there and it, mm. it'll grow again because mm. it'll fill up with loads of fat cells. So you end up with a lump under your skin. Yeah, so it looks weird. It looks yeah. just discombobulated. Yeah. So and, and I think that's the thing about it being attractive, Steve, which mm. is why you're such a handsome man. Of is course. that all of your features, like your eyes, uh, you know, and your, your ears and your nostrils, like everything, if it's in symmetry, we actually find that more appealing. Very. Yeah. Very symmetry. So, so, so therefore, if you're a little bit lopsided, yeah. it's kind of not quite as attractive. So, so lipo has that effect. Now, mm. now, you know, if you speak to a, now, a, now. a surgeon. Now, now that I've said that, now everyone's now. going to hear this thing and be thinking, now, now. Yeah. So, so, so you can end up lopsided. Right. Now, the common treatment for leaving a lump in your, say, abdomen is lipo injections, which is number four on the hit list. Okay. So a lipo injection. I, don't, I haven't heard of a lipo injection. Okay. Li- lipo injection, um, this is from a paper. Uh, uh, it's um, injection lipolysis, a system review of literature of our experience, combination of 14 years, uh, 1,200 practices. So this is where the paper comes from this. And what they do is they inject two drugs together, which work like detergent. Now, if you ever use Morning Fresh, that's a brand name that I used to be involved with but you see how it washes dishes and you've got greasy dishes and you've got water in there so they don't water and oil don't mix but when you put a detergent in there it's a surfactant mm-hmm. which causes them to mix so you can get the oil off your plate yeah that's what the injections do wow. they dissolve the fat cells okay so, how, how how much a fair bit there's 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 pictures here and, and, but, but how much does it cost sorry oh loads it's like it's loads. thousands of dollars why well, Why is it so expensive? It's a good question. Bloody doctors. Bloody doctors <laughs> wanting to make money. Capitalist pigs. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I mean, it depends on the amount of area you want done. So right. I'm just going to show you a picture of someone's the back of the arm. So we can describe that. It's guess in the tricep area. Ooh. And you see how there's a reduction in fat there. Yeah, it's quite, okay. quite nice. It's very good for that. It's very good for chins. Oh, I see this girl's chiseled her jaw. Yes. It's actually quite impressive. It is quite impressive for small areas of fat. So, so this is great, and what, what the, the paper concluded that it's very good um, for very small localised fat, especially over the face and bra roll in women age group 20 to 30. So it's a little bit specific, isn't wow, it? Wow, that is quite specific. Because it doesn't work as well for different demographics. It's right. typically for old, younger so, women. So it's, it's a fact. I mean, what's in this, Steve? Oh, there's two drugs. Um, yeah. Phosphatidylcholine, oh, which you might have heard of. Oh, phosphatidylcholine. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's not scary. No. And, and dexacolate, which is a little bit that more is. scary. That, that's, a, that's a toxin when it's introduced orally, but injectingly. Phospholcholine is likely in, in lethicin. See, a- again, I look at choline and ositol forming phospholipids, which yeah. actually help to transport fats in the bloodstream. So that's what the choline is yeah. to do. Yeah, help to trans- choline, it gets fat, it, it injects it in there, destroys the fat cells, wow. and then it gets transported in the blood. Because well, that, That's part of the transport mechanism, yes. positive with the choline. Yeah, it is. So it transports the fat out of the area because you inject it in there and it goes into the bloodstream yeah. and takes the fat with it. Interesting. Works. Costs a fortune, depending on how much. Like, okay, how much? Yeah, well, it was priced. At, well, I saw one that was just for a... A, a neck? Neck, I was Get, Getting rid of the turkey... turkey yeah, it turkey, was $4,900 on Turkey special. neck. Turkey neck. Yep. Yeah, I'm not saying anything about slapping anyone. So, yeah, turkey neck. Yep, yeah. so turkey neck. Um, yep. So it, it was $4,900. Whoa! In Brisbane. To get a wow. series of injections, one to two sessions, and but that's all it takes. Yeah, Brilliant. yeah. Um, all right. So, so that's the second uh, well, n- number four. Yeah. So you know, if you've got a little bit of chin or bra strap thing, and you young woman, you can get a few injections there. Cost you five grand, and it typically gets rid of it pretty okay. good. Pre- so pretty quick. Pretty quick. Okay. Negatives, downside, uh, cost, co- any complications, Steve? I Very mean, minimal like, complications. Okay. You're just injecting these these two chemicals into that's your face. Yeah, so so this is why it's better than lipo, mm. because you know you've got less. But more problems. expensive by the same. I mean, because oh. seven grand you're getting a big area. Yeah. Whereas four grand, it's only literally you're getting a little. It's not even a yeah. But it, but if you hate your chin or you know you know how people value things differently and yeah. and you know I, I can never figure it out. But but people. But that's because you're such a handsome man, Steve. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, like you look at these people and you're just like yeah yeah yeah. I've, I've got got better options for them now. You got, you got better. Okay, so that was yeah. five and four. Now we're up. Are we ready to go to number yeah, three? Yeah, we can go to three. All right. Cool sculpting. Which I've is heard of this. Thing. Yep, I've heard of this. It, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can you use it on areas like the neck? Yes. Okay. You can use it there. Yeah. Um, you can use it on anything that the people say on the website that anything you can grab, we can freeze. 
<laughs> now, I know. Hey, I know. It's like jumping in a cold pool, Steve. I, I, don't, I don't like that terminology. No. They obviously haven't thought through their, no. uh, their calling it's card catch No, no, no. But this is, you know, so, so if you can grab a piece of fat on your body, they can, they can freeze it. And what they do is they put okay. a – I'll call it like a suction cup. And it's a little suction cup thing, and it sucks the fat up into this thing like a – like, like, yeah, like a suction cup. Think of fat going in there, and then they freeze like a the hell out of it. That sort of yeah. sucks, sucks it everything, out. and then it just super freezes it. Yeah, super that, freezes it. Would that be painful? Yes, it is very painful. At least the redness in most cases, like eighty nine percent of cases, you get urethra. It's redness and pain in the area, so it's quite sore. But it wouldn't be as painful as lipo. Oh no, you, you don't need painkillers. And there's no invasion, so nothing's going under the skin. No. So that's good. So you're freezing so, it. But you're freezing it at negative ten degrees. All right. So how effective is it compared to well, obviously lipo is probably you've got to say that's got to be it's the got, most effective. Yeah, it is. If but it's but with some of the negative no, negatives. The, the how, negatives put it put it down to number. So five. how expensive and how effective? All right, how expensive they I found um, a place in a supermarket. Uh, yeah, not in the supermarket, in a shopping centre. Well, bar- Barry out out the back in the uh, in the in the snow deli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just 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 in a, a shopping centre near me, and it was two hundred and eighty dollars a session. Can't yeah. be that effective then. Well, you need a, a number of they say three to four treatments. Well, that's not too bad. But but you got to remember that's per area. So like if right. you've got love handles, that's two areas. Right, right. Yeah, if you've got one fatty area, say in your belly button area. Yeah then that's one area. But you've got to remember that, that if you have a few of those, see, see, that's why it's number three, because it works. It doesn't work as well as number two, which I'm going to get to. But but it works. It costs about $280 a session, so you might be up for, let, let's say, almost a grand if you have three sessions. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, but how effective is it? It's pretty good. It reduces about – I've got some figures here if you want. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Now, this was combined with a... So, this is all basically for people listening worldwide as well, too. This yeah. is all based on Australian Brisbane pricing. Yeah. Um, and look, Australia, we pay a little bit more than, say, what you might in the States. Yeah, or you probably would for this. Probably not it, as much as you would in the UK, but... Mm. Yeah, the, the, this paper was published... Yeah, that'd be more expensive. This, this was published in the Australasian Journal of Dermatology, 2015, mm. and they compared ultrasound cavitation versus cryolipus for non-invasive body contouring. They put... They've got three different groups, and they put one of them in the freeze, you know, like the, the you know, the, the, the cryolipus, the freezing. And one of them they just gave the, the same diet that they gave to the other two groups, which is just about a 200-calorie deficit diet, so a slight dietary reduction. Yeah. And then they used cavitation, which is another pr- procedure that we'll get to later. Now, I had that happen to me at the airport one time. <laughs> <laughs> He had yeah. very gentle hands. Yep, the slap yeah. of that glove is an awful sound, isn't it? Mm. Uh, well, I never get used to it. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, yeah, pretty interesting. So, um, so, so look. So that, that in that they they gave them that. Now, now, if you want a percentage um, of, um, I, I just picked waist circumference. You can droop, You can reduce your waist circumference by six point four seven percent if you have these three treatments. That's impressive. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends on if you're um, morbidly obese, obese, yep. overweight. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously that would – because for someone who's obese, mm. that's more significant than somebody who's um, morbidly Correct. obese. Or Correct. someone – sorry, someone who's overweight to someone who's morbidly obese, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you might have a you – know, you might be pretty trim, but you've just got a bit of a waist there, you know, like a bit of th- love handly thing you can grab. This is perfect for it. Is it? Yeah. It's not perfect because I've got better things, but... Well, well this is interesting, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm liking it so far. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so, so, again, rebounds, Steve. I mean, like, uh, obviously, it doesn't get rid of the fat cell. It just empties the fat cell, so just it frees it. So, what is the mode of action? Like, how is it working? It destroys the fat cells because they're very sensitive to cold temperatures compared to uh, water. Like, for example, if, if water freezes at zero, mm-hmm. but, Jed, you can take a lump of butter and it'll be solid at room temperature. Yeah. So you can freeze butter, which solid butter is frozen butter. Right. We just don't think of it as we think frozen is zero. But for butter, frozen is about 30 degrees. So if you take that to extreme, like negative 10, the fat cells that you're grabbing and freezing are very sensitive to the cold mm-hmm. and they die. And you lose about 20% per fat freeze. So it dies and then it doesn't matter if it heats up again, the, it's already dead. It's dead. And then the body will just go eject. 
Yep. And then you'll it's use really it. lymphatic system. Okay, does that kill the cell or does that just release the fat? It kills the cell. Oh. Yeah, I know. But, but there, there's a downside to killing cells. Let's say you kill your cell and you've lost your bit around your weight there and 10 years later you put on a bit of weight. Will it come back? Uh, that, yeah, the, the remaining fat cells will grow, but also you'll get fat in different areas. Oh, so you'll be discombobulated again. You will be discombobulated. So, so killing fat cells sounds terrific, lipo and all that, but I've ranked them down because there's a downside if that person later Rebounds. on in life puts on weight. Right. Who says they're going to be lean for the remaining 40, 50 years of their life? They may be, but they may not be. Mm. You know, but a lot of people are lean when they're young and fat when they're old. You know, that's, that's quite a common thing. I've got some pictures here, and you can describe these. This is, this is cool sculpting. Now, now particularly yep. the second one impressed Ooh, me. Oh, wow. The first one, actually, is yeah. pretty impressive. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, the second one. Matt, can you put these up on, on YouTube? Again, people, it's not just Gotta about seeing YouTube. Steve. Yeah. Um, which, you know. It's worth it. It is. Just for me. Um, but these pictures are really impressive as well, too. So I'll, I'll describe them to you quickly. So um, the first fi- uh, picture is of a woman's back. I'd say she probably looks middle-aged. Um, she's got quite a lot of saddlebags, mm-hmm. um, sort of uh, 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 sort of the the mid-rib area, I yeah. think you'd say, sort of above the waist. And, and they're quite um, – they're quite – you know, wavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, the second one, they're, they're pretty much, well, not completely disappeared, but I'd say significant improvement in, in the look. But the one that Steve's talking about is actually um, a, a woman's arm, and it's the, what they call uh, here in Australia, the tuck, shop, tuck shop lady. Arms. Can we but, say that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, the tuck shop person's arm. Is that is that better? I don't know. Um, but the the um, the area under the tricep, where typically um, you know people can hold a fair amount of weight, this person has gone from someone, and it's it's not unattractive her, no. her, her, her arm. She's a fifty eight year old woman, has gone from being relatively um, like the, the the circumference is quite quite large. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's, I would say, a third of it's gone, yeah. and her arm is like. Lean like this person's arm now looks like, like like she, she's a runner or something. So like it's, it's a massive difference. It's a pretty good difference, isn't yeah, it? it is. for that? I'd say that's pretty impressive because those bits of fat you can grab. You know, what I mean, you, you can the machine will grab it and pull it into it and mm. freeze it. So it's because yeah. there's a lot of loose so, skin. So this figure five. So if you're looking at this on YouTube as well too, just cold sculpting of the upper arm. A 58 year old woman before treatment with four cycles. That's oh, one four. session. It's one session, oh, yeah. right? So four cycles, but done in one session of school mm-hmm. Um And this is 12 weeks. I'm telling you, that's impressive, Steve. Yeah. And it takes 12 weeks to show What's the number results? of that cool sh- shaping? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, that, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty uh, good. I mean, and again, w- what may be interesting comes out of this, Steve, yeah. is that some, some treatments are better for certain areas. Yeah. So, for example, that injection one might be better for the it neck. Is. This one, I tell you straight right now, I've got to say that's bloody impressive for the for the tuck shop arm and even the back. The back was it's pretty good, very impressive. The stomach, not bad. No, uh, but mind you, the person in a fifty eight year old woman, um, she she didn't actually look that bad to begin with. No, nah. so you know, not not that, not that not that should I say she didn't look that that voluminous of fat to yeah, begin with. Exactly, because you can't say bad because you know. <laughs> All right, so, so I've got some data here, and, and I've got waist data. So I've picked waist, and they, they usually measure the, the so waist. So we're still talking about cool sculpting. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. And now, now what they did was they, and I'll, I'll, I'll get to the, uh, they, they, they got three groups in this particular study, and one of them was cryolipus plus that 200-calorie diet compared to just the 200-calorie diet on its own. So okay, that's pretty good. Yep. So the waist circumference, if you just dieted, the waist circumference showed a significant reduction of 5.05%. So Over what one. time? Um, this was over. This was over eight weeks. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yep, not How bad. How much? Five percent over eight weeks. Yeah, five percent. So Just that, by reducing, so effectively, that's like you know maybe a couple of cookies a day. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So um, also, and and uh, with cryolipus, it was six point four seven percent reduction. With the reduction in calories as well. Yes. Okay. Now, so, now, so, you, so you're getting an extra like one and a bit percent, one and a half yeah, percent. Yeah, but the most important, but you know, you know how they measure your flanks for, and they do the the pinch test yes. here on the side of you, just above your hips mm-hmm. on the side. Mm-hmm. That's a great way to measure body fat in the waist area, and the diet alone was eight point one percent reduction with the cryolipus. 
17.41%. Nearly a doubling. Yeah. Yeah. Or more than a doubling. More than a doubling. Gee, I was lucky, lucky so you're not relying on me for math. That, that, that's a super iliac. That, that, that's the, yeah, yeah. that's, that's, that's it. really impressive. It's really impressive. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. So you happy with I'm that glad. One? So these cool sculpting people. They're pretty cool. Good on you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ah, man. They're pretty good, but why do they only rank number three? You're impressed well, well, already. I am. I am. I'm actually like I'm dialing my number for the cool sculpting now. Uh, <laughs> what was the cost of that, by the way, Steve? Oh, two hundred eighty dollars a session. Right. So, so I wouldn't say that that's crazy. No. Um, I mean, I like everything as well too. And again, Steve, we haven't spoken about how to enhance the effect of this by using things like caffeine, like yeah. um, uh, acetyl L carnitine, like using other compounds which might be able to help to mobilize Correct. and utilize fat, exercise first thing in the morning. There's all sorts of things that you can do. So this is just base, compared yeah. base. Now, apart from the lipo, all these other top four treatments mobilize fat. Yeah. So we need, you're right, those, those scenarios. So the more base. that you assist, yes. probably the greater your results could be. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, very, very important. Not so much for cool scum because that, that's sort of a destruction of cells. Yeah. Um, but the next two, where you, you empty the cells dramatically. Yeah. So, before we move on from cool sculpting, Steve, yeah. and, and I guess if we're going to look at them and rank them out of 10, given mm. all this, I'd say liposuction based on myself personally, mm. I'd be unlikely to do it. So, I'd probably rate it more like about a four or five yeah. out of 10. Yeah. Maybe if I, you know, if I, got I, I loads just, of money, you don't yeah. care about sitting on a couch for yeah. three weeks in pain, yeah. taking drugs, yeah. uh, costing a lot of money. I think I mentioned that. But also the, the discomfort, and you have to wear a band around your, say, your waist yeah. for about three weeks. Yeah. I'd, I'd, you know what? That what would stop me more than anything? Yeah. Well, probably the money. Yeah. But besides the money, um, probably the the potential of mishap, like infection and or looking weird. You know, like looking. Yes. You know, that that for me would probably be, be a stopper. Because you're sticking a cannula inside the body. Yeah. You know, none of, I mean, apart from the injections, which are relatively safe, mm. the, the top three don't stick anything inside you at all. So, number four, Steve, what was that again? Four was the uh, lipo injections. Okay. I'd probably rate that maybe at about a six or a seven. But yeah. the thing that would probably, maybe a six, because I think the cost, mm. um, also, I don't really know what that, that, chemical compound could do to me in the long term steve i mean like a that that sounds a yeah. bit dangerous mate i mean again we only use natural compounds yeah. and natural ingredients mm. so for me that would be literally probably a last resort if i really wanted to get some, and i'm trying to put my shoes yeah. in someone who really cares about what they look like because as you can tell i don't really care that much <laughs> don't tell tony she already knows um but yeah i think in terms of um in terms of um yeah i i'm thinking maybe maybe a six on that one yeah. and it's just more yeah the cost for it again mm. but also the that that toxin that you're injecting i'm oh, not really yeah. a big fan yep and 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 the, the cool sculpting oh i think that's pretty good i'd bit probably painful, though. yeah but you know pain yeah. no no pain no gain they yeah. say steve okay. i'd probably rate that one so far based on cost and on effectiveness i'm rating that one probably about a seven and a half eight Good. You've left yourself a little room. Oh, well, I have, and I've done that consciously because I'm actually yeah, thinking yeah. the cool, cool sculpting is not bad. It works. Yeah, it's number three. All right. Do you want to hear number two? Are we done with cool sculpting? We, we are. I think that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Number two yeah. is called fat cavitation. Again, with the cavity. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what uh, okay. I mentioned before. Okay. So, so what is, what's the deal? Well, what, what fat cavitation is is a frequency that's passed like, like a radio wave passed into your fat cells and it's at 40 hertz so it's ah, like steve this is, so when we first met yeah right back in the day do you remember i used to own a clinic called zone three therapies and that was all around using frequency for healing oh yeah unbelievable stuff mm. um i forget who actually originally um came up with that the american woman and uh there was a guy who played uh nfl yeah. and um he needed surgery, and they said, that's it. You're probably going to come in halfway through next season. He literally was back on that field playing. Mind you, he did have painkillers. After about four weeks, he played in the, um, what do they call the Super Bowl. Yeah. Now, now yes, it's, yes, it's all about the frequency. You're probably talking about ultrasound frequencies that like, yeah. like physios still use. So, but I, we did theorize, and this is actually one of the things that we use, Steve, yeah. with subcut and blocky theory. Do you remember yeah, when we used to make those yeah. back in the day? Now they're discontinued now so we, we can talk about them. Well, but awesome product to actually yes. help with liberating fat into the bloodstream and oxidizing and using it. That's I created that for 
trying to find a frequency that could actually help to effectively liberate fat into the bloodstream. Is this what this is? Absolutely it is. Okay, so yeah. so I was ahead of my time, but anyway. I'm going to show you a, a result from a paper. Non-invasive? Yeah, yeah, non-invasive. So it, it, it's, it, there's no side effects. There's no downtime. No, There's no freezing your ass off, literally? No, no, it warms up a bit because the 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 cells sort of heat up a bit when they're releasing fat. So this is a little bit like Nikola Tesla. Once you find the vibration of things, yeah, effectively it. you can control them. Now I'm going to show you results start with them. We'll talk about mechanisms. Okay. Because this is the result. This is the waist circumference down here along the side. You can describe this. And this is each treatment. Okay, Look guys. What to the waist. Seriously, if you're not on YouTube, you're missing out. Yeah, I know. This is, this, this is pretty incredible. So yeah. basically, the abdominal uh, circumference of this individual, I uh, don't know if it's a man oh, no, or a woman. Oh, a group of individuals. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, this is... This is the biggest out of a big study. How, how many did it say? Um, there was 28. Nothing. Okay. So, so the chart, and, and, and for those, yeah. Matt's putting this up right now yeah. uh, on YouTube, but for those listening, the abdominal circumference uh, starts at about 101, yep. maybe just a little bit less, and after the eighth session, mm -hmm. the circumference has dropped down to just above 90. So that's a t nearly, actually it is, it's it's a 10 centimeter um, difference in circumference over after eight sessions. Amazing, isn't it? Let's sign me up. Sign you up. So now, follow-up visit where it stopped, there was a rebound, Steve. Oh, yeah. It, it actually looks almost like a Fibonacci retracement for those yeah. of you that, who who um, who, who uh, trade shares and things like that, which is actually kind of, again, a natural sort of comment. It's like dead cat bounce, you yes, want to call yes, it, Steve, yes, something, yes. right? Uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens if they had subs uh, subsequent. I would have liked to have them continue this graph to show until it leveled out at flatlined. That would have been really helpful oh. because the rebound here yeah. – gives me pause for concern right the the reason why this rebound is because there was no uh, dietary or uh, training intervention okay. so those fat cells this empties fat cells okay this doesn't destroy them it doesn't do, it just empties the fat cells into the system so if you keep doing this treatment as you can see it's a quite a linear graph which means straight line you will burn all of your fat steve this is why i created the company called zone three therapies it's, yeah. now, it's now you know closed down but this is this is using frequencies to treat people yep. then using creams to actually accelerate through subcutaneous means oh uh let's not go there um tr trigger trigger uh trigger warning but um uh you know what i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a dog call him trigger um <laughs> geez my trigger warning <laughs> um but um that's, that's awesome. Isn't that an awesome one? It is. Now, now I, 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 there is a study here which compares it, uh, ultrasound cavitation versus cryolipus. Okay. Well, I was going to say this Head to head. Good. Head to head. Do dollar for diets, dollar. Same diet. And results. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cryolipus. Let, let's just go total weight. Just overall. Yep. Total weight for cryolipus was 5.8%. Yep. Over what period of time? And how many sessions? Um, this were you know, five males, five females, six which uh, characteristics over... So five males, five females? Yeah, yeah. This was in each of these groups. Yep. And the... Because it's important to make sure that we've got a bit of a baseline here. I mean, obviously, yep. I know that it will be like for like. Yep, yep. Yep. So two months. Two months. Okay. Two months. So, and they lost 5%? Yep. 5.6%, you said? 5.8% in the cryolipus okay. and 6.6% in the cavitation. There you go. It's more effective. It is. More effective over two months. Okay, so what was the cost like? Oh, Did cheaper. it mention? What, on this? Per treatment, wow. yeah. Wow. $80 a treatment. Because you've got to remember, all it is, if you can imagine my drink bottle, for those who aren't watching, and you've got your fat belly there, all you do is you do this on it. And it's a machine that gives off 40 hertz yeah. at a certain jewel. Steve, we could create one of those. They're, they're everywhere. For, you know, they're, they're all throughout Brisbane. They're, they're being used right now. Yeah, I know, but we could create a little one that you have at home. Yeah. You just take it home and you just, you know. I, I think there are ones you can create from home. You know, uh, yeah, you can buy them. Yeah. They're not. I mean, I, I did price some of them and they were just over $1,000. But a permanent fat loss machine. Uh, can, can you see why it's up? If you go to the website, we'll be selling them on our website. Yeah, well, I mean, they're not, they're not prohibitive. No. Now, well, well, well that, that, that is a lot of money, but let's well, say. Well, it is, but I mean. 7000 for life. How much would you pay for for? The 10 centimeter fat loss, you know, off, you know, that's pretty impressive. Exactly. Now you got to know how to use and everything. But that that was eight sessions, and they lost 10 centimeters. Yeah. And that would have probably cost about 640 dollars in Brisbane. That treatment. There. Wow. 
So you okay, can see, well, you can see all right. So I'm, I'm going. Yep. Do you have any photos like that? Because I mean, I really like that. And again, this is where we may find that some, some treatments yeah. for some areas may be better. Yeah, and exactly. I, I, I'm, I'm sure Steve probably you haven't delved into that much detail. I'm just going to try to find photos. But I mean, that's that's pretty uh, impressive. They didn't have photos in, of that one, which is a bit of a bit of a well, shame. I, I like the the over the page here, Steve. You've got the um, healthy out of post tissue. That's yep. for another one. Oh, okay. It's for another. Oh, well, thing. then let's not mention that yet. Yeah. So I think in terms then of um, this one. So what is this called? This is called um, cr- um, this is called cavitation, fat cavitation. Fat cavitation. Are yeah. there lots of places doing that? Lots, yeah. Gold Coast, Brisbane, where I googled. Wow. Uh, lots of about eighty dollars treatment, someone ninety nine. Wow. Really? Some sold packages. How long do the treatments l- last for? Do we know? They last for about thirty minutes, so quicker okay. than cool sculpting, which is about forty five to an hour. Well, okay, so that okay, so tech. So, so, so cost tech. Cost. Um, uh, no pain. N- no. Okay. So hang on. So 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 cool sculpting or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Right, is is more painful. Yes. Costs more. Yes. The treatment takes longer. Yes. Less effective. And less effective. Slightly less effective. Slightly. Whereas this is no no virtu- no pain. Virtually no, no pain. Virtually no there, pain. There's a sound that irritates people. Is what they've reported. Oh, it sounds it's like 40 a hertz. So you can hear it. So it's like 40 times a second. I dated a girl for a lot longer. I mean, I've dated worse, Steve. So <laughs> all right. So, so <laughs> and to my other girlfriends, you know, I'm just oh, joking. I love yeah. you both. Um, yeah. The um, yeah. So okay, and then well, this is the clear winner so far. So far. So so. Um, just, okay, just remember your, your skin fold test here for yeah. diets was 8. And, and by the way, you can use this on any area of the body. Steve. Any area you want, your chin, your anything. Any, you, any, anything you want to rub with a, a bottom of a water bottle, you can use it to reduce the fat levels. Wow. Because the frequency just goes in and, and causes the fat cells to go with all the fat cells throughout the body. Wow. Yeah. And they recommend that you don't eat for two hours because you've got a, a lot sure. of fat in your system. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then and then maybe fast exercise, dances, maybe hit the gym yep. again, take some take some fat burners to help you to sort of you know. That's the key. Yeah, get in the carnitines, the yeah. tyrosines, those sort of things to support, burn fat. Yeah, support fat burn. Because you, you okay, all this does mobilize it, yep. which is great. If you get out there and fat. go for a walk, correct. Yeah, how? D- yeah, they okay. they recommend in one of the sites. 20 minutes of moderate exercise after the treatment. I think that, uh, I like hanging fruit. I'd actually go, I, myself personally, if I did this, I'd straight away blitz out like yeah. a, um, uh, a, a high intensity, um, you know, fartlek. Um, yeah. Uh, what am I looking for? You know, the, the you know, Absolutely. 10 seconds on, yeah, 10 seconds. 20 seconds off. Of course, you, but even the average Joe six pack out there who struggles with it, they, as long as they burn oh, calories. It, you know, you're right. Getting out going for a steady state will probably not bad. I mean, mm. if you can do some high intensity and then don't eat for a couple of hours afterwards, at least I'd let the, the yeah. afterburn work with what's – man, that would be great. Well, of course it works. So, so it works really, 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 really effectively, um, almost as effective as number one. Well, I mean, uh, I'm you, still, you're pretty impressed already, um, aren't you? I mean, I'm giving this a 9.5, Steve. <laughs> so, I mean, like, seriously, I don't know if the other one's going to be. I mean, cost, yeah. pain, yeah. time yeah. Uh, to do it, yep. um, the effectiveness of it. Yeah. I'm like, giddy up, man. I don't know why everybody in Australia that wants to lose a bit it's, of body fat isn't doing that. To, we should take commission, seriously. Nah. <laughs> Is there a home kit? Oh, there, there's a home. Steve, I know yeah. what I want for Christmas. Can I? Can I? Uh, we, I mean, no, no, nah, nah, because we, we, we've got to determine that they're actually not just right. selling, you know, crushed up Chinese do, newspaper. Do you, do, is there a price we can indicative price? What, what is that price on that one, Matt? Two hundred and forty-nine dollars. Yeah, that's a home. That's a home one. Yeah, and you don't know. I don't know. I mean, again, we we, we haven't looked into it, so we're not. We yeah. are not Choice Magazine. No, right? so no, we no. We've gone out and evaluated these but things. But there's home. Th- Let, let's assume that that thing's legit and it gives off 40 hertz and all this stuff. Well, that, I'm buying it tomorrow. All right. Yeah. But but look look at the results. And you've got to remember, that's not over eight weeks. That's over 80 years, the rest of your life, you know? Because we're going to live for another 80 years. <laughs> we'll sell death occurs at 120, Steve. Yeah, so how old am I? If it does, I've probably got another 70 years. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, you know, that's that's a pretty impressive treatment, isn't it? Mate, I'm super impressed. And yep. as I said, the fact that you're not using any chemical there's, there's no chemicals using that? No. There's, it's a there's no, I mean, I, I love frequencies. Yes. Um, how long, is there any, how long ago did this technology come out? So again, this is just kind of what I was theory crafting yeah. years and years ago of actually doing exactly the, what these guys the have done. The earliest study I saw in that Do you know what we 90s? should do? We should, we should get, we should make a, 
an upmoded version of the subcut, Steve. That's what we should freaking do. Well, we should, then, we, then, then, then that, yeah. topically, with that, and then you take your fat burner... You, you, I reckon oh, we can. Yeah. Inc- I reckon we can improve that. Now, now, if you took a fat burn, I mean, got to remember these, this is no exercise, no fat burn, and no nothing else. No. You see, so these are minimal. I yep. reckon. And, right. and and you're you're already signing up for that. Um, pff, I'm giddy up. I'm in fact, as soon as I leave here, I'm gonna go and get my six pack abs on. So every treatment uh, in that one, on average, you lose about a centimeter around your waist. That's awesome. That's. I mean, and you got to think, oh, centimeters not, but you do it no. eight times. That's right. All right. Okay. What, what if I told you you can do better than that? I'm going to say, Steve, <laughs> what is the catch? Because you know what? You've always got the piper to pay. Now, I, right. I, I, you, you, I heard a smattering of this. And yeah. again, I'm being honest yeah. because typically I don't know anything. Yeah. Uh, you keep me in the dark. And, yeah, yeah. You know, I kept you in the dark with this but one. Yeah. Well, you, I know a little bit. All right. Okay. But my gut feel is, yeah. and I don't know how effective it is in comparison, yeah. but knowing what I know, I think this, the price is going to be the bugbear on this one. Okay. All right. All okay. Right. All right, Steve, before we get to number one. Yes. Right. We've got a couple of um, uh, reviews, yeah. a, a couple of comments, a mm-hmm. couple of people writing in. And look, sure. guys, we really, really appreciate it. We so do. Look, please, uh, again, it, it, hit the like button, um, you know, uh, subscribe. Um, look, we're on Libsyn. We're on. We're on. Obviously, we're on all these different platforms. I know, YouTube Lipson. as well too. I heard of that Lipson. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, Spotify. I mean, uh, you can find us pretty much well anywhere in the different devices. But sure. um, wherever you are, if you could, you could leave a like, throw a comment out as well too. What would you like to hear about? Uh, we care about you, and we want to hear about things that are, are, are setting you back, whether it be disease or exercise or anything. If you've got a question for Steve, um, you know, just please let us know. So here's a couple of comments anyway. So I, I really appreciate this, guys. So thank you so much. Uh, this one's from Pauline. Uh, hi there. Firstly, just want to say I love your podcast. I listen to each and every one of them. I'm learning so much, and it's truly changing my life and my family for the better. Can I please request you do a podcast on dairy? Oh. Okay. Absolutely. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm 61 years old, and I'm from the demographic where milk was staple in my diet growing up. To tell you the truth, I love the taste of an icy, uh, cold glass of full cream milk. I've recently tried a keto diet, which is with great success, and I've been using almond milk, which I'm getting used to. However, I'm confused about dairy. Should I be avoiding milk along with cheese, yogurt, and butter? Mm. Please, please, please do a podcast on this topic. I need some guidance on this one. Thank you again for your fantastic podcast steve mm. now i've gone the keto route yep. and you have gone the non-dairy route completely yep. and look thank you pauline um in terms of just to answer a little question right now because and we will we'll do a podcast on it we will and we have done a podcast on scary dairy about so, two years ago think, yeah so yeah. if you look up scary dairy we sort of really um get into it there but we might have a revision of that and see if there's any new uh, information, Steve, because oh, yeah. the science has never settled, as never we say. Never settled. Um, but I think in terms of um, dairy, Steve and I come from things a little bit differently. Uh, Steve had a very pre- – and I'll let you talk about it, Steve, and I think people know that you had ankylosing mm. spondylitis and that when you cut dairy out of your diet that you became a lot better. Oh, yeah. I grew up in New Zealand on a farm where many times I'd actually go and get fresh milk straight out of the cow. And used to have Jersey cows. It tastes way different, by the way. Have you tried the different milk from Not the, fresh yeah, out of a cow. Yeah, Friesian, never sucked on a cow. Friesian cows and, and, uh, and Jersey. Very, very different taste. Mm. Um, but having said that, I believe fresh is best and I believe nature knows best. Yeah. But yes, I think as humans, we do over rely on dairy. Um, I use macadamia nut, nut milk myself because it's creamier, especially in my coffee if I can. So um, I prefer that over almond, but uh, macadamia is not bad. Mm. Steve... For somebody that's on a ketogenic diet, and by the way, I'd highly recommend that you can do a ketogenic-based diet without the having to use dairy. Now, for people that are using the Atkins diet, if you like, then typically they'd be eating things like bacon and cheese mm. and uh, you know cream and adding a lot of stuff like that to get their fat content up, and it's very easy to do. Mm. I would highly recommend going towards things like... Um, avocados and and using uh, oils um and and incorporating more things like that into mm. your diet yeah you would, yeah nuts and seeds They're nuts very, and seeds fantastic um 
Steve, you would recommend going off dairy altogether, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. I mean, and if you're going to have it, don't don't drink cow's milk yeah. for, for many, many reasons. And weirdly, cheese might not be as bad and yogurt's not as bad either. Is that because it's cultured? Yeah, it's been, it's been cultured. And, mm. But butter's all right because the, the fat in butter is butyric acid, which is a good... Really good. Yeah, really good for you. Yeah. That's where the name butter comes from. Yeah. Um, but but there's, there's problems with drinking cow's milk. It's a long podcast. We can talk about the RNA and all this sort of stuff. And, well, maybe we do one on dairy. Maybe yeah. we do a re- revisit to scary dairy and we have a look at not just milk but then we have a look at um, uh, homogenised non-homogenised yeah. maybe we have a look at butter cheeses mm. hard cheeses yep. soft cheeses and I think we did mention some of we that did, in scary yeah. dairy yeah. but uh, Pauline thank you have a check of that um, keep on your keto diet if that's working mm. for you sure. you can do it and you can limit the amount of milk and I agree with Steve not only when you're using a ketogenic based diet if you are drinking milk there is around about 4 grams of lactose per 100 mils which is a sugar Mm. so if you have a glass that's probably getting up near 8 10 grams of of lactose sugar notwithstanding all the blood and pus and everything else that you're getting as well too but that is something altogether different blood and pus is all right in the keto diet (laughs) (laughs) is it ketogenic friendly yeah the pus pus is low the pus is great yeah low in calories oh it's disgusting but Pauline um, what it comes down to is that a lot of cows commercial uh, cows they're very different from you know your local and your fresh but they give them um, uh, lactating hormones and and medication Mm. that increases the yield as a result Mm. of that they get a lot of infections including mastitis so that what you're actually getting in your milk you would probably be disgusted if you actually knew what really was in there. And there's plenty of infographics out there if you want to go and search and say, what's really in my milk infographic? Mm. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Good one. Uh, thank you, Pauline. Appreciate the comments and best of luck with your um, with staying on your keto diet. Yeah. Uh, we've got another one, Steve. We've got one okay. from... Um... <laughs> Oh, I've got to be careful to say that. I love, oh, I love the name. Gee whiz. Uh, Sax Gill Hornboy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Uh, ATP podcasts are gem, informative, insightful, entertaining, and often funny as hell. Always um, uh, kind and well intended. Well, thank it's you. True. Thank you. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. And that was from a while ago. So, yeah. uh, again, guys, but we're, we're making a more of a conscious effort to be looking at the comments. So, thank yeah. you for, for leaving that. And, um, uh, she also went on to say that most entertaining delivery of solid health and fitness info, even without the use of butt cams. What's Where are our butt cams? I don't know. They're on the mail. It's, the it's mail. funny because yeah. people come up to me, Steve, and they go, oh, I love this episode where you said that. I'm like, I, 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 can't remember. I don't remember. You know, we, we've done a few few hundred of these. Sounds like a lie. Too. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> butt cams? No, it sounds exactly what we'd say. But anyway, uh, guys, thank you. Please keep the comments coming. If you've got some health questions as well, too, please, um, you know, bring them in. And while we'll always say with the disclaimer, Please check this. This is for information purposes only, not mm-hmm. to tr- diagnose, treat, or cure. Mm-hmm. Um, but we want to hear from you, and we can obviously talk about these things um, and recommend maybe some some ideas that you might want to entertain. Sure. Uh, but again, thanks, guys. Drop us a like. Drop us, drop us a subscribe and uh, and a comment. And uh, right. Um, also, Pauline and Sax Girl, which I've just heard just quickly, uh, that Sax Girl is because you were a saxophone player and Hornboy makes sense. I used to play the trumpet when I was younger. Um, anyway, so um, <laughs> useless facts that you never wanted yeah, to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot plenty of them. Um, but drop us a, um, a hello and just say, hey, look, the guys read out um, my questions on the podcast. We want to send you out a little thank you gift. Um, you can jump onto our website and have a chat with um, the little box that pops up in yes. the bottom right hand corner Different can i help you day. well uh, yeah it, it, it could be lauren uh, it could be aaron, aaron it might be uh tom T- or tony, tony i mean yeah. any of them are there so but just say hey i'm famous yep give me what's coming to me and uh or you can email us at info at atpscience.com that's info info at atpscience.com hmm. good all right steve yes on to number one Yes, let's do it. Well, here's number one. Yep. Um, and it's low laser, uh, low level laser therapy, LLLT. Yep. Okay. Now, I'm going to quote a paper here so people, application of low laser uh, therapy for non-invasive body contouring. So this is, um, you know, very, very good. And uh, what this is basically is, is like, if you can think of them like a pack of playing cards, mm-hmm. okay, and they've got lasers coming out of them at 635 nanometers which is red 
Yep. So they're red colour. Yep. There's just a specific wavelength of light. I'll get to why that's important in a sec, but it has to be that wavelength. Yep. There's, there's also 1060 as a wavelength that works too, but right. the, this one, the studies are on, is, is 60. So it's red light. So it's not going to take your eyeball out. You know, you, it's, it's a, just a red light basically, but, but laser form. And it's like playing, uh, putting packs of cards around your fat areas. Yeah. So wherever you're fat, you put these things. Yeah. And then you strap it up with a, um, a, 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 a elastic band is what they do on the, on the videos. Okay. Okay. Turn it on. Can't even feel it. So there's no noise. No noise. It's laser. It just shines okay, light. So, into so that's skin. an improvement. No noise. No noise. And, and, and no, no feeling? No feeling whatsoever. Okay. So this is absolutely no right. sensation. How long does it take? It takes 20 minutes. Well, uh, so you've halved the time. Yep. yep. I've got a study there, actually. If you flip that over and have a look at that picture, yeah. that's six minutes. Now, now you want to describe what's happened to the fat cells so, under laser light. So again, guys, if you're not on, on yeah. YouTube, have a look. Get but on it. So you've got, it, it's got three pictures. Mm. Healthy adipose cells, which are nice, and they look like grapes, sort of like a bunch of grapes. Yep. And then you've got f fat droplets um, seeping across adipose cell membrane. This is effectively where um, the fat cells have effectively disintegrated and the, you've just got effectively what looks like fat droplets um, yeah. in, 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 into the blood mm. and then complete collapse of the cell um, uh, adipose cell emul emulsification so th the cell structure is completely destroyed so all of the fat that's in your fat cell is effectively going to be liberated out into the bloodstream 99% to be specific in this paper I do okay I do have a question and yes. it goes all of them all right we know that subcutaneous fat is the fat that we want to get rid of yeah but we know that it is the fat around the organs mm. That is the most dangerous. Could this potentially increase or decrease the fat around from the skin? Yeah. The subcutaneous fat and enhance or increase the amount of fat around the organs? It, it decreases fat throughout your body, even the untreated areas. I know. I know. You don't believe me, do you? Is that across all of them or just this laser light one? Just the laser light one. So, so, so hang on. So, because going back and again, I know yeah. we haven't ranked everything yet. No. All right, put a pin in that. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So, so it's it's faster, 20 minutes, as opposed to, did you say 30 minutes for 30, the... 30 minutes for, for cavitation. For the cavitation, okay. So 45 for cryolipus. Okay, so Which it's... Which is bugger all. But all 20 minutes is awesome. Yeah. Uh, but there's no annoying sound. No. Uh, there's zero, zero discomfort. But there, mind you, the discomfort in the other one was virtually nothing. Hmm. All right. What are we going to go for first? The effectiveness and then the cost? Yeah, let's go effectiveness and then cost. All right. Well, there's two, two levels of effectiveness for this one. Let, why, let's, why let's, two? Well, because one's a treated area and one's a non-treated area. Hot. So you're talking about systemic, systemic. As, well, as well as specific. Yeah. Whew. Which okay. one do you want to go through first? Well, oh, let, let's do, this, let's do specific. The, the specific, the All right. treated. Now, this yep. is um, another paper. Oh, no, same paper I read out, so that's good. All right. Now, remember the other one, that the number two was losing about a centimetre. Yep. Uh, every time you had a treatment. Yeah, yeah, yeah one centimetre of treatment. And, and again, and that's comparing apples with apples across the waist. Yep. yep. This is a study done on 689 people, so not three. Uh, this, how many people was, was this on? Was this done on? Oh, that was done on 28. 28 people, so, which is still good. Still, yeah, very this good. This is 689 people, so okay, much stronger yeah, evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their baseline, now we're going inches here, so I don't want to confuse. We'll, okay, we'll so remember. one inch is around about two and a half centimetres. 2.54 centimetres. Yeah. So they went from... 35 point, and it's after one treatment. Yeah. 35.87 inches yep. down to 34.73 inches. Math, can you get lost. a calculator for me? Can you pull that up on Google just so that we it's can do 1. it? It's 1.14 inches, which is about three centimeters. Right. And the p value for that, you're going to love this, less than 0. 0.0001. That's super significant. So, again, the p value, Steve, is that the smaller the p value number, the more accurate and reliable the reliable study is that you'll get the same same effect correct yeah it, it's by 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 happen by just chance so 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 one session one session was three times more effective than than your number two fat cavitation that you already signed up for can i have my money back <laughs> Hang on now. but just <laughs> just just wait just wait all right now tell me about the cost and then we'll go into the the systemic effects okay all right now, How much is it going to cost me? You're going to, you're going to rip me, aren't you? Because I've I'm got my wallet it. out. I'm, I'm, like... I'm ripping you. Um, I, I, I had a look online, and um, the average price, depending on there, you can get cheap bulk buying, but I picked the average on was $70 a treatment. How much was the other one? Uh, about $80 on average. It's, it's less oh. expensive because, oh. because you've got to remember... Less time. 
You're less time. cheaper as well, right? And I mean, also, piss. you set them up and then piss off. Come back 20 minutes later. Steve, I want to buy one of these machines. I want it downstairs. We're going to take turns. <laughs> I'm going to be like Bruce Lee, where he's, you know, you've seen that movie, yeah. the, Into the Dragon, where he's sitting there and his pecs are like, yeah. and then I'm just going to sit there. I'm just going to be shredded. Well, I mean, um, now, now, now. Did you call me Willamine? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Flip over that bit of paper there. He did. He called me Willamine. You Willamine. reversed that. You called me Willamine. No. Oh, you said, well, I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Ha- have a look at those. That's what happens on the laser after I want six it. minutes. Okay, so, all right. I'm, I'm, uh, okay, I'm giving this one 10 so far. Yeah, but, okay. but, but wait, there's a set of free steak knives. There is. Because what's the systemic effect that right. nobody else has? Okay, so, so what they did in this study was very interesting, was they measured non-treated anatomical regions. This is table three on, on this one. So, so in other words, if I've got a bit of tuck shop happening yep. on, the, on the back of the arm. All right. Let, let's all right. What about banana rolls? I mean, saddlebags. I mean, you know, I mean, is it going to treat all them as well too? So banana rolls are basically, you know, so and muffin tops. Yeah. So well, banana what, rolls are at the top of the thigh. Yeah. And again, for pe- people, because I know the regular listeners know what we're talking about. For those that are just tuning in, Steve, that have never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, In yeah. Australia, we like to name our jiggly bits, right? Yes, that's right. And we're not talking about Stanley Power Tool. We're talking about the, the muffin top, yeah. which sits above your hips, yeah. right? And then you've got the banana roll, which is at the sort of upper top of your thigh. Yeah. And, and then you've got the tuck shop lady arms or the yeah. t- tuck shop man arms. They measured arms. Um, yep, which is the, 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 the jangly bit where the tricep is. Yep. Yep. Um, what else have you got? You've got the, the turkey they, neck. They did chest. Uh, okay, yep. yep. Uh, and they did right knee and left knee above the knee, so in the thigh. Okay, okay. All right. Now, so that's very... Um, Far away. Yeah. So, the so they're really looking at the extremity. They tried to pick the worst places to measure it. Uh, and what they found was that uh, all p-values of loss was less than 0.001 again. Wow. And they lost on average around about one centimetre in all of those particular areas after two weeks of treatment with this. That's so this was after s- six. So the question I've got then is uh, obviously the level of uh, um, overweightness, uh, yeah. if that's a word, but you know what I mean. Because that's probably going to be hard to assume. But regardless, yeah. anyway, that's impressive. That, that's for non-treated areas. They didn't laser them at all, obviously. They, 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 it's table three. It says independent mean right. circumference change in systemic non-treated anatomical regions. I've got one for you. What's that? Negatives. Negatives. Very difficult to describe. Is there any negatives? Well, this was a two-week study. How long has this therapy been around for, do you know? Uh, laser therapy around the 90s again. How have I never heard of this? Because, because it's, it's, it's sort of, we're in the health industry, we're not in the aesthetics industry. And we want to, <laughs> that's, no, that's what Tony said. <laughs> but, but, if, but if you get a bit of uh, subcutaneous fat lost off you, from a health point of view, it doesn't really make a lot of difference for your health. For your looks, it does. Oh, for my mental health, it makes me feel better. Actually, that's a good point. So for mental health, this could be very useful. I mean, I am a very shallow yeah. person, Steve. I think you yeah. underestimate just how shallow I really am. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think... <laughs> so what I said before about not caring, you know, that's yeah. not true. So, I mean, you know, pretty good results here. Yeah, really good results. Pretty good results. Yeah. Um, so very, very good. Now, now the conclusion of this study, yeah, which was, you know, 600 and something people in it, was, was very emphatic. And it just said that it collaborates all because this is a, a newer study there, there's many many studies showing this this works and and this basically says that yeah this is a very effective way there were no side effects reported none and it even does one other thing you're gonna love this if it grows my hair back or make something larger <laughs> but actually it does two other things uh will it feed my cat i mean no, I, I don't know man i mean you, seriously you it's pretty bloody it doesn't need to do anything else i'm already sold drops your cholesterol oh wow uh good or bad uh, both. Okay. So drop, you got, got rid of the fat in the blood. Uh-huh. And second thing is you can use this for reducing inflammation. Wow. Now, I've got a graph for this one. So is this kind of, in a way, a, a, a lot more effective form of a uh, red light sauna sort of thing? Oh, like, well, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, red light saunas are really, really popular, right? They are. So. Because red, you've got to remember, beyond red is infrared, which yep. is the heating part. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you get the sauna effect. Mm. So you know, that's an infrared sauna. But have a look at the inflammation here. Now, Now I'm going to have to explain this graph, and we'll put it up on there. But interleukin-6 is an inflammatory marker. Yeah. Now, what they did was they, they, they got some cells. Um, that's the control. They gave it an injury, mm-hmm. and inflammation went up. Yeah. But with low laser light therapy in the injury, look what yep. happened. It dropped back down. What? It's pretty equal with control. All right. So... I'm going to get abs. 
Yeah. I'm going to get healthy. Yes. I'm going to reduce my bad cholesterol and my good, so just yeah. be mindful of that. Um, reduce triglycerides as well. Get out. Fats in the body. Yeah, it gets rid of fats. This is awesome. I, I, think I am pretty... really impressed. Well, I mean... I, well, and, 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 and coming into this, I'm thinking, okay, it's you know going to be crazy expensive yep. and you know it's going to be moderately effective and then the rebound's going to be through the roof. And look, at the end of the day, rebounds, you can get through dieting and exercise anyway, right? So, And, and none of these are permanent. Wow. None Leaving lipo, you can still get fat again. Good. Well, I tell you what, I guarantee you after this that these mm. uh, LLLT um, uh, therapy centers are going to get booked out. So, you know, holy cow, man, this is really cool. This is this is super cool. And this is what I love about science. Yep. I mean, and you know, Steve, that we believe that nature knows best, absolutely 100%. But we love science as well, too. And this is science. This is, again, what I was hoping to do with regards to the, the, the frequency mm. uh, ther- uh, center that I had was to work on frequencies to help with in, in increasing healing, reducing inflammation, but also looking at the cosmetic asp- applications of mm. it as well, too. I yeah. never got there. The other one got there, yeah. But this is this is I, I, this is way better. It's way better, and and, and this is like um, you know there, there are people out there that I, I group into three, and I don't have to equal threes. But there's a third of people that don't give a stuff about how they look or how much fat they've got. Or sure, don't. And then and, t- and typically they will have an earlier death, yeah, a lower quality of life. They will, and probably unhappier partners. Yeah. <laughs> Because they're ugly. And then you get the other end of the extreme where they'll go through surgeries and lipos and sure. nose jobs and so, boob jobs. Do you remember that, The Shire? Do you remember that show called The Shire? I don't know what I'd do without my lips. Do you remember that? I mean, it was famous it here in Australia. I mean, like, it does ring your bell. It's a terrible, terrible bell. But, um, yeah, and, and look, I think Plastic Fantastic, yeah. great. Go, go for it. Yep. Go for your life. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Mind you, um, Asia syndrome. I'm seeing a lot more of that Ooh, coming yeah, out. Yeah, that's Steve an autoimmune of, disease. The breast. Yeah, this is obviously people. Not all people, but some people who suffer from when they put in, mm-hmm. when they put in, um, when they put in their implants, and they ended up having um, a, a negative um, autoimmune effect. Sure. Right. So, and I've seen that happen before. I've seen an acute. A friend of mine actually. Um, uh, got hers done and had to take them out within a matter of weeks because she wow. had an acute reaction to them, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but having said that, then there's the middle. Now, yeah. this for me, this is the middle. Group. This is this is this is the the apex point mm. where you can you can use science to enhance and improve your yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's there's not really any negatives. It's cost effective, mm-hmm. and it should support your your nutrition and your exercise goals and make it more effective. I always look at it this way. The reason why we sell supplements, Steve, is because we always say food and exercise. Yes. And that food first, exercise second, and those things are really closely linked and then supplementation to enhance and support your goals, put in what may be missing or what have you. And so that when you're exercising, you're eating well, that your supplementation is, is, is synergistically enhancing your results so that you want to stay with it, that you're getting the most um, bang for your buck in terms of your time and your effort, right? Because exactly. at the end of the day, if you're going to go and – let's say if you're going to go and jump onto the treadmill – I'm just using this as an analogy, people. So, just if you jump on the treadmill for 40 minutes, if you could, if you could burn, you know, um, at the end, if you could lose uh, half a centimeter of fat, and I know this is not probable, but you know what I mean. If you could take a supplement, so if you're eating well and doing everything, and you lose half a centimeter of fat, if you could turn that from half a centimeter to 0. 0.6 or 0. Mm. 0.7 mm. by using a supplementation, would you do it? Yeah, of course, of course so. right. So yeah. that's what we're believing in. This is something, something. Something, something else. Well, I love it. I really do love it. I love it. And now, there's probably only one negative that I, I saw with this. Oh, now you okay. tell me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is, this is kind of logistic negatives, is that it's much better after this, because you've, 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 seen, you've described that picture, and we've seen it for the YouTubers, that it just puts fat into the, into the system, okay? So it dissolves your fat and puts it into the system. There's a mechanism I'll get to later. Uh, and then... The difficulty with, let's say you go to the gym in the morning, you haven't eaten all night. The best time to do this would be as soon as you wake up in the morning. Totally. Um, and totally. most people don't have a laser at home. Well, well, Steve, that's true. Can you get a laser at home? Yeah, of course you can. You can buy them. But can you buy this laser that does yeah, this thing? Yeah, of course you can. Low-level laser therapy doesn't require <laughs> laser licenses. Steve's making them. He's, you know, yeah, we, we should be like you know, Steve Jobs and, mm, and Olby mm, Wozniak, right? Mm, we'll we'll mm. be in the, in the thing, like p- putting these lasers together. Yeah. People would be losing their eyes. It'd be crazy. <laughs> but I think in terms, though, that's cool. Mm. The other thing I was going to say, Steve, from my point of view, the mode of action 
that I was looking for yep. with regards to supplementation yeah. is the beta-3 antagonist, which yes. is kind of what I've always said. And again, Steve, you're smarter than I am, but it's kind of like that holy grail and mm. the natural compounds that people can take to hell. Correct. But effectively, this creates that, right? Well, they, which is the liberation of the fat into the bloodstream, which is what you want. That's, yeah. that's the biggest trick. Yes. If you can get that, yeah. that's that's 80%. I mean, again, I, I, no, probably 50% because you've got to exercise, you've got mm. to eat well, you know, all these sorts of mm. things as well too. I'm super excited. Well, well, this thing, you got to remember, this liberates fat. So if people have got a little fat deposit around their waist or wherever it is, and they're going to the gym for 12 months and it's still there, but the rest of their body's toned up and everything, this is perfect for that person. Steve, we when we used to sell the the, the blocky three, for example, yeah. men of mainly women, some guys as well too, that had little um, decompartmentalized areas of fat where the bloodstream was really, really bad, and yeah. we said, well, you've got to attack it yeah. uh, basically by, you know, because the body's decompartmentalized has gone off to the side, right? Mm. Um, this effectively overcomes that. It does. Because it me- you can target that area yeah. and liberate it straight in. I mean, again, I'll, I'll be the first one to tip the cap and go, this is better than subcut and blocky three. This is better than subcut and blocky three. Well, expensive too I should to say in terms of hormones, it might not. Because, I mean, again, no. the whole thing about the estrogen is that there could be an underlying area. Re- well, there is. So, so let me go backwards as well, too. You can tell I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Um, is that, that if you're creating pockets of fat in your body... Is probably because there's areas of hormonal imbalance that could be through stress, mm. diet, um, external like xenoestrogens, external factors. So that's where we always recommend, you know, to make sure that your hormone regulation is good. It's like, like anything; you can treat the problem, but mm. if you don't treat the cause, the problem could come back. Mm-hmm. So, so this is a great way to treat the 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 the, the area, the problem. Yeah. I, I should say the, the the effect, but not the cause. So. But this is brilliant. It's brilliant. It, so, it did, does. What I, but what did I say? Did I just make sense? Because I want to make sure, guys, this is not the cure to your no. problem if you have areas of estrogen dominance and, um, and, and you know, uh, saddlebags and, you know, those sorts of things. That could still come back. And, and eventually you could be doing damage to yourself if you're just, you know, treating the, the effect and not the, the symptom. But sure, if, you, if you do both... Yeah then you can probably get the results that you want a lot quicker. Absolutely. And you've got to remember that, that, that the subcutaneous fat, which is what we're talking about, the visceral fat, the, the, the stuff that causes heart disease, that's easy to get rid of because it's constantly mobilizing throughout the bottom, the body. This is a type of fat that sticks there. It's high estrogen receptors, mm-hmm. so it will stay there. Very difficult to move with exercise and diet. So when you do liberate this as well, too, yeah. because we know that high estrogen and fat cells actually proliferate, right? Yes, so in do. other words, so therefore, therefore, yes, well, you should obviously be looking at your what, what's increasing your estrogen load and specifically mm-hmm. the types of estrogen that you're producing. And there's ways that you can obviously treat that with like chaste berry yep. or vitex and, mm-hmm. and, and, and broccoli sprout and other things like that, mm-hmm. which is all great. Mm-hmm. But if you do actually a- attack it from the area and you actually remove that air pocket of fat because your body oxidizes it mm. obviously there's nothing to proliferate from that area as well too so you're sort of while it might not be a complete cure you are you are effectively dealing with the the problem from another angle. Correct, you yeah. are. And, and as you can see by that photo in front of you it's there. awesome, man. You can see that the fat cells just gone boom and left the fat out after six minutes. Now, they, they, they put people under a lot longer because there's no downside to that. Oh, it's you incredible. Know? And, and, and I've got a mechanism here, and this is from the paper uh, Low-Level Laser th- for a Fat Layer Reduction, a Comprehensive Review. And the mechanism they've found is that it, it temporarily... Um, allows uh, damages the cell membranes that creates pores, so the fat oozes out into the system, so it can be burnt. Oh. that's how it works. There you um, go. Yeah, and, and also the, it also stimulates um, upregulation of ATP synthesis and upregulation of cyclic AMP, which is wow. what gynostema does. Yeah. Well, I was about to say that's the. I was so, a, I was literally about to yeah. say, Steve. The two podcasts that I have done recently that have just literally have me almost gobsmacked where I'm going, you know what? This is super cool and why I love doing the podcast and all the rest of it. This, probably along with the Gynostema podcast in the last probably, I reckon, 12 months have been my favorite podcasts (laughs) because it's so – I was not expecting it to be this good. 
I know. Um, I mean, and my other one, the all-time favourite, which I mentioned all the time, is my pomegranate podcast, yeah, which, which I love as well too, right? But 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 having said that, this and the gynostema, and then combining these two yes, podcasts together, that's what I was and the say. only other one I was going to say as well too that I think we should absolutely highlight for people to go and listen to. What's that? Is the exercise for fat loss podcast? Yeah. Because if you, and again, as I said before, depending on your mobility and your health, and always go and talk to your doctor before you take any exercise. I mean, everybody's fitness levels, everybody's um, health is, is, is individual. So you need to consult with your doctor and or your personal trainer to ensure that you're not going to damage yourself. Mm. But I highly recommend that if you were to do this, mm. take gynostema with yes. it and other quality fat burners that carnitine. we recommend that, yeah. carnitine. I mean, it would be nice if there was a supplement that had that all together. But I think in terms of um, uh, that and I reckon doing a high intensity training session, yeah. I would highly recommend doing it first thing in the morning when you're fasted so that yep. there's nothing else to compete. Correct. And go and exercise. Yep. Holy cow. Well, I reckon the results that you could get would be breathtaking in a very short yeah. period of time. So, Steve, how long? How long? So, one session a week, can you do more than that? Or is that too yeah. much? In the study that we talked about with the massive results, they did six. Six a week? Over, no, no, sorry. Three a week over two weeks. Right, and so, that had how much? Three, three centimeters per, per. Well, so they were losing up to ten centimeters nearly a week. Yeah, they lost loads. They they lost, you know, um, incredible results. I'm, so I'm I'm blown away. I yeah, literally am blown away. Even in the areas that you didn't weren't treated. Remember that was that paper. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff. So I mean, it works. Um, I'm going to um, go test this out. Because, I mean, I've never heard of anything that works yeah. that quickly and that effectively. There's got to be – I'm just trying to think, where is the piper? Because yeah. you, you've right. always got to pay the piper, right? All I right. mean, typically it's money. but Well, well I've, I've got some exact figures for people with, with their ages. The younger you are, the more uh, circumference you lose. Now, this is in inches. That's, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a uh, – a 23-year-old, for example, in this trial experienced a reduction in their waist, hips and thighs by 8.8 inches – so that's 20-odd friggin' centimetres across the body. In three weeks? Two weeks. Oh. <laughs> Two weeks. 44-year-old, seven inches. 49-year-old, seven inches. Blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, and Mind well, you, that could just be to those people. Like, you, yeah. know, you never know, right? I mean, and again, it all comes down to she might have been consuming a diet that was richer in acetyl-L-carnitine and, and, yep. and, and eating better food, Steve. So, I mean, again, it, it, it's unknown, right? Yeah. I mean, that's it's nice. Unknown. Yeah. So, I mean, the other two could have gone down and sucked down some quarter pounders. You exactly. Know? So, you don't I mean, know. this was not, you know, this, this only had one intervention, which was the laser. So they weren't taking any fat loss supplements and they weren't exercising. Or some of them might have I've got to find a laser, a low-level laser therapy that sponsors me (laughs) for life. And I'll mention you on the podcast. I'll tell you what, I'm coming to find one of you. Because I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, again, Steve, I'm just, I'm gobsmacked. Yep. And they both, their last two treatments, get rid of cellulite as well. Oh, you didn't say. You should have led with that, Steve. Oh, I, I, it's, they're so good. There's, there's no... Um, well, I mean, typically you know. the reduction of cellulite comes from the removal of fat so that it, the fat... Because yeah. we know that, obviously, the collagen structures degradate with the menstrual cycle. We know smoking can cause... Uh, other, other things can cause. So, therefore, effectively, if strands are missing, Steve, mm. and the fat then pokes through, that yeah. what creates, obviously, the cellulite. Yeah. So, I would imagine... And correct me if I'm wrong. No. That that because like you, you can see, um, and it's typically in females, but you can see some females that are overweight, but they don't have any cellulite because their collagen structures are really yeah, sound, right? That's right? Whereas you can see some girls that are quite thin, but mm. because their se- collagen structures are not so good, the little pocket of fat pokes through. Yeah. My understanding, and again, just an assumption, and correct me mm. if I'm wrong, is that the reason why the reduction in cellulite is not because it's helping to impair the integrity of the collagen, but it's just helping to remove the fat so that it's correct. not pushing through. That's exactly right. Okay. That's what it does. So the last two do that. I'm yep. sure lipo does it too, you know, you can get, but, but <sighs> oh, just, again, I, I can imagine lipo, if I, put it this way, if I was a lipo therapy clinic, yeah, I'd, I'd be, be going right. out buying one of these machines. Well, they, they do, a lot of the, a lot of the people with cosmetic, uh, they were cosmetic surgeries that do lipo and this stuff and cool sculpting and all this, and they, they just pick which is the best for the person. Um, there may be some, and I'm not a cosmetic doctor, Doug might be able to answer this, but there may be people that would only respond to lipo. Can Dr. Doug get me a home kit that's approved by him? We should sell them. Because seriously, Steve, we'll, we'll, we could retire. 
on a pile of money with beautiful ladies. The, the thing I think oh, I love, it, thing I love you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Sounds but this awesome. is ridiculous. Yeah, this the thing is, if you see the photos of it, it looks like playing deck cards, and you just stick them on the body and strap it up with a, a Velcro thing, and then walk away for twenty minutes. Well, Steve, you've impressed me. Very it's good. Pretty good. Very stuff, isn't good. It? Very I, good. I, I, that's what I mean. It, it's sort of like, look, it's not going to help us. It's we're not talking about any of our products here. We don't sell lasers or cool. But we should. Yeah, <laughs> but imagine combining these results oh, with totally. exercise. That's what I'm saying. It, it, yeah. it, it, synergistic effect, good mm. diet, good exercise, uh, you know, go for it. Guys, go and listen to the Guy Nostema podcast if you're interested. Uh, go and have a listen to the um, the podcast that we did on uh, the best exercises for yeah. fat loss. Very and important. again, to cut to the, the chase, it was high-intensity exercise yep. mixed with steady state sort yep. of every second day. But high-intensity exercise, I reckon that's what I'd be doing after this if – Again, my body could could afford to do it. Any form of exercise, even hill walking, and that would would probably be really cool. You know, after doing this, if, if that's all that your mobility can allow you to Absolutely. do. Absolutely, yeah. Cool. Uh, I love the Devil's Tricycle, by the way. If you've got poor med- bad knees or something like, that. if you're really mm. overweight and you've got bad mm-hmm. joints and knees, look at look at the Devil's Tricycle. Yep. Um, that's the one, the push pull bike. Yeah, that's they're, they're really good. So, so uh, you happy, happy with these ones? You're booking him for laser. Oh, yeah. You've Mate. already booked him for cryo. You booked him for the no, no, no. Uh, well, uh, Steve, I'm giving this one. I'm giving this one. I'm giving it a perfect ten. Ten. I yeah. am. I'm giving it a perfect ten. In fact, I think I'd probably give it eleven, but with the systemic effect. So, well done. Yeah, that's good. Um, that. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Steve, thank you. Thank you. It's good fun. And I'm off to the laser shop. <laughs> <laughs> I too, I too. And uh, we'll be back next week with some more. See you then. Thank you. Bye.